Hello, YouTube. Sir Ronald checking in. Got a uh, corn cob diplomat filled with Stokeby's Luxury Navy Flake. This is, uh, I got this about a month ago from the B&M for smokingpipes.com down in Myrtle, Little River, South Carolina. Low Country Pipe and Cigar. Shout out to you guys. It's, um, really good. Believe Virginia's and Perique's. Good smoke. Just got home from a long shift, 11 and a half hour shift, carrying mail. That's what I do, I'm a mail carrier. Still kinda in my uniform right now, just took off the, the postal shirt. But um, walked in the rain pretty much all day, most of the day. Was working till about 8.30. Pitch black around 6.30, so it was kind of rough the, the last two hours, but it's all right. Home now, enjoying a good smoke before I go to hit the hay. Um, and this is a VR to Pegleg Piper. Um, new to the new to the channel, just subscribe today. So I'm not a lurker, which no offense to any lurkers, but I'm new to the YTPC, making videos, finding about finding out about new channels every day, subscribing to new channels every day, trying to you know join the community and interact with others so just found about you just found out about you and um, can't wait to check out your other videos and uh, and and yeah so this is VR to you peg leg Piper gonna answer your questions here um, first question being favorite type of blend of your tobacco and also top three that you have not necessarily in the blend that you chose so I'd have to say because I'm fairly new to this hobby um, yeah it's out because I'm fairly new to this hobby I uh, I've been changing my favorites around but I have really 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 found myself wanting almost not craving like I need it but when I'm going to smoke wanting to smoke an English blend um, so I, I've I've tried about three different English blends and um, one of them I think you would consider a Latakia bomb it was just really strong with Latakia and I didn't enjoy that one as much but then I smoked a, uh, a bowl of Frogmorton Cellar, and that one right there just changed me, man. That one right there was good, mellow, smooth. Um, as much as you know, there's that bourbon, that stave aged block of uh, wood from bourbon barrel in there. You know, I don't really taste bourbon, don't really smell bourbon, but it. It just does something to it that makes it real nice and mellow and tastes good. But you can definitely taste a lot of Kia in there. Um, I don't know what the percentage is in the blend, but man, it's something about that lot of Kia now. I'm just in love with it. Uh, it smells good. It tastes good. And it's just relaxing. Really, just really relaxing. Sometimes when I'm smoking a blend with Perique in it, it's a little strong. I mean, so is like Ikea, but like, you know, it's a little spicy and stuff, and I might not always want that. And then aromatics, on the other hand, are sometimes can be just a little overwhelming with the flavor and with the topping that's on it and stuff. And and Virginia's, you know, they're good natural sweetness. I mean, that's what you know, I got in here, the Navy Flake. It's uh, Perique and... Virginia's I believe in it's good it's great I'm relaxed right now I'm enjoying it. it tastes good drinking some ginger ale here that's you know good with it but English is 
I'm really, really, I'd say, as of now, if you're going to ask, someone random was just going to ask me, like this video, I will just have to say in English. But because I've tried Latakia, like a blend that was really strong in Latakia once and I didn't enjoy that, I'd say a blend that's kind of mild in the Latakia. Um, but yeah, so in English would probably be my favorite blend right now, type of tobacco right now. Um, my top three blends though, across, across of what I have or what I have tried, I w would have to go with my favorite being... Frogmore and Cellar. Number two, or well, it's not necessarily in this order, but Frogmore and Cellar is definitely up there. I have to be, I have to go and get a couple more tins because um, I'm not almost out of the one I have, but I just like I don't know. I really like it, and I want to have some, you know, backed away, um, sitting there. So Frogmore and Cellar. Definitely got to be in the top three. Davidoff Flake Medallions from Davidoff's Luxury Blend brand. Um, that one, by appearance, is almost identical with the Stokebee's Luxury. Um, Navy Coins, I think it's called. Bullseye, the Luxury Navy Bullseye or Luxury Bullseye Flake or something like that. That one, they, they're almost identical in appearance. They're Preak, Virginia, wrapped you know wrapped up in a coin shape. And then um, you got your Black Cavendish dimes in the center. And just this the same way with the Davidoff one. Um, I haven't had the Stokeby one, but... Uh, I can imagine it's probably, you know, I don't know. I don't want to say it's probably like the Davidoff, but because they look so much alike and they have the same bl um, blend, it's the same blend practically, I can imagine it's the same. So that would probably be my up in there too because when I first tried that one, it was like, it was it was so, it was such a, a good experience. The first bowl I had, I haven't had a bad bowl of it. I've given a bowl to I've I've given some to a friend when we were chilling one night and he packed it he packed it the same way I do which I don't break up the the coin I just fold it in half then fold it in a quarter and put it down there and then I get a second one fold it in half fold it in a quarter and I put it down there um, then I get at the top if I don't have any like loose particles in my tin from it just falling apart I'll take my finger or thumb and I'll just kind of like break up the top a little bit so it gets a little like um like just so it's easier to light um so I haven't had a bad bowl and when you're smoking it because of the way I pack it when the way I fold it I feel like as I'm smoking I'll go from like I'll just start like it'll be like Virginia so it'll be like semi-sweet really good like hay-like features to Perique, and it'll just be like a bite, like peppery, a little bit of spice, and then sweetness, and you're just like, boom. Then it's like Black Cavendish, and you're like, whoa, I really like that. And then you go back, so it just develops as you smoke down the bowl. I really enjoy that. You get your sweet, you get your, you know, you get your peppery, Perique, strong note, and then you get your classic Virginia. Um, and so, Davidoff, Luxury, no, it's not the luxury. It's just Davidoff Flake Medallions. Um, then from one seller. Then I'm just going to have to say, and I kind of feel like I might be biased to it now, but the McClelland Stave Aged Virginia Number no. 35 Ribbon. ribbon. It's the Virginia version of Frogmore and Cellar. Frogmore and Cellar, I believe, came out first with the bourbon block. Then their 30, McClellan's 35 year anniversary, I believe it was, back in 2012, I think, they came out with the Stave Aged um, Virginia ribbon, and they called it 35 ribbon, probably because of the, I mean, because of the anniversary. So it is 
Virginia blend. I don't know, you know, maybe yellow, red. It's it's fairly dark, um, but it's got the block of it's the Stave H cube of the bourbon barrel in there too. And when you open it, it's like real sweet, like for you know, like you get that bourbony note. Um, but it's not. There's no lot of key in it. And I was smoking on that before I had Frogmore and Cellar because I could not find it anywhere local. Um, which I know I could have ordered it, but at the time I was just trying to go to a shop. And I lived near JR Cigars, so I would go there. And they didn't have any, but they did have the Stave Aged um, Virginia. So I, was, you know, I bought one of those. I actually gave it to a friend of mine as a wedding gift. I was in his uh, bachelor party. We went two night, like about two or three nights before the wedding. Me and him were hanging out with another friend, and I gave that to him as the gift. We lit up a bowl, and all three of us were just like, "Wow, this is awesome! This is really good." Um, it's you know, it's not it's the same as the Frog Montelli. You know, it's not like you're drinking bourbon because I personally have not liked any bourbon that I've tried. Um, I found it all very harsh and and burns and doesn't taste good and maybe I just don't have the maybe that's how it's supposed to be and maybe some people just like it I personally don't and I'll you know I'll try it again but I don't really like it that much but the tobacco is completely different even though it has that cube in there it smells like it which I think bourbon smells good but it just doesn't taste like it, it just tastes like really good tobacco with this touch 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 of the aromatic side of a bourbon so, those are my top three. Stave Aged Ribbon, number 35, Virginia. Or I might have messed that name up, but that's by McClellan. Then McClellan Frogmore and Cellar. Then the Davidoff Flake Medallions. Those are my top three. Those are the ones that I've had um, the best smokes with. Now, the second question. Um, I don't want to be too long here, but... Uh, second question is in a time or an experience where you were nervous about something and whatever the outcome was was either positive or negative but you still did it and I would have to say me being young 21 years old not having lived too much of experiences outside of you know school and stuff like that but I work for the post office and I have been for going on three years now um, so uh, I would have to say it was when I first got hired um, when I first got hired to the post office I was just trying to get my foot in the door um, I wanted a specific position, which is what I am now, but I couldn't get it. There was no openings. So I took what the first opportunity I had and got in at an office that I had no idea about in a town I had no idea about and was a RCA, which is Rural Carrier Assistant. And it was strange to me, it was weird, because I have a friend that I work with now who is a city carrier and has been for 15 years, and he was trying to, you know, mentor me, help me get in, or, like, you know, help help me, tell me how to get in, what to say, who to talk to, stuff like that. And the whole, you know, the cool thing behind it was is when I got in, hopefully in the office he worked at, he was going to be able to teach me the ways and, you know, help me be able to make it past my probation period and all that good stuff. Well, I didn't get that. I got in a random office with a position that he wasn't familiar about and permission, a position I wasn't familiar about. So I was very nervous about it. Well, I got in. But that isn't the part that I was mostly nervous about because about a week after I got a call from a postmaster at his office asking me if I want to switch over to the city side of the office, which is now I'm a CCA, city carrier assistant, and moved to her office. Completely transferred, completely changed positions. And I was 
excited about it, but also nervous because I had just got in at this office, just got in at this position, and I was starting to, like, it was like about maybe, maybe not a week, maybe like almost a month working, and I was just getting the hang of it. And then I get this call, which is what I wanted in the first place, but now I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't take it, maybe I should just stay where I'm at. Um, but I took it. And I was nervous, and I didn't know, and I just left it up to God, you know, and I just, I prayed about it, and asked advice around for, other, you know, what other people thought I should do, because when you transfer, you completely lose all your seniority. You are giving that up. And I didn't have much, you know, I didn't have any seniority at the time, really, um, but there was talk that even as low as I was, that within maybe a year to two years, I would have been full-time by then. So, it was, I it was, you know, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. But I took it, and I got the job as a city care assistant. I'm still a city care assistant. I enjoy it. I like it. It's a good job, and I'm going to continue to do it. And hopefully I can become full-time soon enough, but... I just found out two days ago, I saw a carrier from that same office that I used to work at two days ago, and he was just telling me that when I left, two months after I left, five people retired, and I would have been either full-time or next in line. And that's just how it works. You don't know, can't, you really don't know till you take a chance. But I'm fine where I'm at. I'm content. I'm happy. I'm in a good office with good coworkers, with a good manage, you know, good management, and they treat me well, and 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 you know things are good. I work with a friend of mine that I've been friends with for years, and and so I'm happy. Sure, I'm not full time, but I would not have known that if I would have stayed. You know, there's no way for me to know. But so that are my those are my two questions or answers to your two questions. I'm sorry that this video is pushing 20 minutes, but I'm long-winded when I speak, obviously. But thank you for the opportunity to do the BR. Um, good luck for anyone else who's entered, and I look forward to continue watching your videos, or, to, you know, I'm going to try, you know, to catch up and you know, watch a bunch of your stuff, see what you're about, see what, you, you know, stuff you like, things you like to talk about and stuff like that. So, uh, so congratulations on the 100 subscribers. You're already pushing 200, so, you know, that's awesome. So congrats and have a good night and keep it lit.